Yes, sir. Rise and grind. Good people, man. I'm back at y'all with another video with the Pull Up King. This video this morning, I'm working on a 2006 Infinity M35. All right. We got valve cover gaskets and spark plugs. All right. Gonna knock that out. We have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. And we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'ma ride for this, I'ma grind for this, I did time for this. I swear I will build for this on guard, my partner got killed for this. Cause we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. And we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'ma grind for this, I did time for this, I'ma shine for this. I swear I will build for this on guard, my partner got killed for this. We have emotion. So a quick rundown, my client is uh, leaking oil, it's been leaking oil for quite some time, uh, a few years, but um, we do have oil leaking, you can see it's leaking pretty bad and uh, it's getting worse, so we want to knock this out, keep that oil in. And uh, this will be the first tune-up for him uh, since he had this, this vehicle, so we're going to get him right. First, we want to start off by taking off the engine cover. we got four 10 mils, two in the front, two right here. Take them out. All right, see what we got here. we got an intake manifold on top and valve cover gaskets or valve covers are on the side. That. So we gotta get this off first. I'll remove all of the plastic. That one's already gone. All right, so I want to go ahead and take out this uh, this air air intake. I took out that harness, mass airflow sensor, 10 mil. Loosen that up. 10 mil. Got a clamp for the holes. Flat head or eight mil. Another ten mil. Get it on now. Right. Got better access to the to what we get, what we doing. All right, we're gonna start undoing these harness. Just wanna hook, unhook up uh, everything that's connected. That uh holding this down or this intake that's on the intake. Any hoses, brackets, all of that. I'm gonna work it. This is what I got undone so far. Okay, so I got this one off. 10 mil. Okay, take this hose off. Get that clamp off. Uh, holes, 10 mils, one, two, just gonna get that off of the manifold, another 10 mil, pull that off, uh, this hose right here goes here, pull that off, harness undone, for the throttle body, um, oh, coolant line, take that out, that connects back here, can't really get up in there to take that out so take it out from here it's a little cool it gonna come out uh see what else oh yeah 10 mil one two three four five six seven all right moving on the passenger side i want to show you this other bolt that's right there got it loose 10 mil that's just like this bolt here Got these bolts around the intake, all the way around it. All of those bolts there. And then you can take off the upper plenum. Just like that, that top portion comes off. Right, the rear looks like we got a hose. Didn't see that one. Wasn't able to grab it or reach it. Anyway, 
All right, we got it undone. Let's pull this up. All right, we got them out. Now we can work on this bottom half of the, of the intake. Take out these bolts here. All right, as soon as you get those six bolts out, just those, you should be able to get this on up out of here now. Right, man, we got valve cover. That's the driver, passenger. And now we gotta do some more work. Gotta remove all of the, these harness out the way. Move them to the side so we can get the spark plugs out, take the coil packs out, and uh, get to it. All right, so we got all our connectors, take them all out, harness, if you look around, all that you can see, these brackets are attached to the, they're attached to the valve cover, both sides, get those out, 10 mil, here. All right, core packs, 10 mil. Oh, nose in. All right, we took this hose off from here. Just wanna, I just took a flathead and pushed back on it. Pop right out. See, I got my 10 mils holding a valve cover. Yeah, got those loose. Top side, and we'll work on the bottom side. So once we got all the bolts out of the uh, valve cover, should be able to come on out with it. All right, man, we coming on up. Red cover intake. Okay, we got a harness back here. I didn't see. Next here, take that off. Get a little bit more wiggle room. Went ahead and took off this hose here as well. And everything is off. We're gonna go ahead and clean up our area, our surface. Took the valve cover gaskets off. Things brittle. Came off in one piece though. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and install the new ones. Alright, we got them installed. So one thing I do realize I don't like how flimsy they are. I see easy to come out, so gotta put some sealing on it around it. Just so we can hold it in place. That way it won't come out. So we got. Let that dry. Just a few minutes. Oil resistant. Let me show you these areas that are prone to leaking. You can see right here. These corners you want to add. Sealing, some gasket sealing in there. Both sides. Get all of that old off. Got the driver's side in. Went ahead and sat in that position. You gotta make sure those gaskets, make sure the gasket doesn't come out of the position. It doesn't fold, twist, bend. You know, it'll make it leak. You're gonna do this whole job, put it back together, and it'll continue to leak. So, to prevent that, just make sure that gasket is sitting properly and it's not twisted up. Just take a few seconds, a few minutes, you know, whatever, however long it's gonna take just to prevent that. Because this job is not an easy job. 
you have to go right back in it. Spark plugs are out. NGK, going back in with NGK. Same part number. Got your anti-seize. Make sure you add that to the each spark plug every time. It's gonna make it easy for it to come out. Coil packs in. Hooking everything up, reverse order. All right, we got everything hooked up. And we're gonna install that, uh, that lower intake. All right, make sure your gasket, it is reusable, so make sure it's in there. Put that on first. Tighten those bolts. All right, so I went ahead and put that hose on first. It's gonna be hard to get to when I put it on. You got these three in the front. They are shorter than the rest. So the three in the front are the short ones. Forget that hose there. Put that up. All right, man, that's gonna be it. And start it up.